All right, here with Dav McMullen on the golf team and men's soccer team at Cornerstone. Devin, how, how you been? I've been good. I've been good. Just hanging in there. How are you? Doing all right. Just trying to, I'm waiting for the weather to break a little bit so we can get out. But mm -hmm. that brings me a little bit of yours. You, you were probably in the middle of your golf season when all this came about. How have you adjusted in that way to maybe, are you still playing golf? Are you allowed to get out there and do some practicing? What are you doing? No, yeah, I mean, the weather has been kind of bad lately, so I've been stuck inside, but I've definitely brought in some of my, like, pitching wedges and just been hitting ping pong, ping pong balls around. I've gotten some solo cups, setting them up on the stairs, trying to knock them in, just trying to take my mind off of things and kill time. Good stuff, man, good stuff. Well, hey, uh, just a little bit of an introduction of you, like who you are, where you're from. Um, what, what year are you at Cornerstone here? So I'm a sophomore right now. I'm from Hudsonville, Michigan. Um, it's about 25 minutes from Cornerstone. So, what are you what are you majoring in? What's your academic study? Uh, my major is environmental biology. Um, after Cornerstone, I want to go on to a meteorology program, grad school somewhere, bigger school. Um, so, not sure exactly the specifics of all that, but got to figure that all out soon. So, so your dream job is a weatherman, huh? Yeah, yeah. I actually was inspired by like, have you seen the show Storm Chasers? Oh, I love it. I don't watch it, but I love watching stuff about storms. Yep. Growing up, that was one of my favorite shows, and that's, like, always been my dream job out there, storm chasing. That's awesome. Good stuff. Um, what were you – what did you – is that what you wanted to be, to be when you grew up? Or when you were a young kid, what, what kind of things were you doing to prepare yourself for right now? Yeah, I mean, I've always thought about storms, weather, stuff like that, but I've always just been intrigued with nature and stuff, so I'm – I'm always exploring. I want to see new things um, with the storm side of it. Just like whenever there's a storm coming, I one of my best friends actually wor works for Wood TV8 right now. So him and I were always in touch um, talking about it and stuff, you know. That's awesome. I think you get along with Trey Reed. He likes all the storms when they come up as well. So do I. Yeah, him I'll and I, talk to him. We, we have some fun chats about the storms when they happen. So, uh, Dad, I want to go to a little bit of some questions away from that a little bit. Who's been a role model in your life that you uh, have thought of that's really taught you a lot about where you are right now? Um, well, I kind of have two. One is my dad. You know, he's always there for me. I can talk to him about anything. Um, but then also my grandpa. Um, I love just sitting down and talking to him about his life experiences. Now, I don't get into, like, super in-depth things like my dad, but it's just my grandpa's been a huge role model. Um, he came from nothing and worked um, to where he is now where his daughter, so my mom, graduated college, and now he has um, his grandchildren in college now. And it's been really cool just listening to him and hearing all of his stories. That's great. Both good, both good people, I'm sure. Mm -hmm. um, what is the best thing at Cornerstone that's not your sport? <sighs> just the people. I mean, there's so many good people. Um, when I was choosing colleges, um, there's nothing that really stuck out to me. And I was like, well, I'll check out Cornerstone. And I never, I always said I never wanted to go to Cornerstone because that's where my parents graduated from. So it was the last school I checked out. And the people there were just so nice. Everybody was just so nice and welcoming. And that really stuck out to me. And that's still the case now. Awesome. Awesome. We're going to go to your sport. If we're going to pick a sport, I don't want to make you pick one over the other one. So okay. I'll pick it for you. So we're going to go, uh, since I'm the golfer, I'm going to pick mm -hmm. soccer, actually. So focus on soccer in this. Who's your favorite soccer player? My favorite soccer player is Mo Salah right now. He's, he plays for Liverpool. That's my favorite team. So. All right, that's my next question. Favorite team, Liverpool. Why is Liverpool your favorite team? You know, I don't really know. I just remember I never, like, watched professional soccer um, when I was growing up, but um, as I started to get older, all my friends and teammates started talking about teams. So I'm like, you know what, I'll check it out. And I actually played a game on FIFA, and I picked, like, a random team, and it was Liverpool, and that's who I stuck with. And obviously they're having a good season now, so it's worked out well. That's good. They're having quite the season, for sure. Um, who is the GOAT in soccer? Uh, Messi, for sure. Messi. Okay. I know it's, it's a big debate, but I, I got to go with Messi. All right. We'll, we'll find out if we do some more soccer interviews, how that goes along. Okay. All right. To finish this off here, we're going to go with a couple. Uh, we're going to go a fast speed round. If you were low, or if you were stranded on an island with one of your teammates for the rest of your life, who are you picking? Um, I would pick Luke Blickley. <laughs> <laughs> if your coach had one thing that he's known for, 
what is it? Um, probably being the best at everything. <laughs> <laughs> All right, favorite vegetable? Um, actually, this is a hard one because I'm actually allergic to all fruits and vegetables. So I do not have a favorite fruit or vegetable. All right. Well, I'll scratch off the next, uh, next question. Can't ask you that one. Uh, right. Favorite TV show? Uh, Friends, for sure. Favorite movie? Um, Independence Day. Hmm, okay. Favorite restaurant? Olive Garden. Okay. Favorite music to listen to? What's on your What's on your iPod or uh, Spotify account? Um, I like to listen to top hits, just what's ever playing. Okay. Popular. All right. Uh, favorite band? Do you have a favorite band? Um, I really do like Imagine Dragons. I think I own just about every one of their songs. Okay. Uh, if you could go back to one year in your life, what would it be and why? Um. Well, I'm a sophomore right now, so freshman year. Freshman year is always the best. Not that it gets any worse, but freshman year of college is one of the best for sure. If you haven't had a car, you probably can't answer this. What was your first car you ever owned or ever drove? Uh, my first car I've owned, I still own it now, is a 2005 Red Ford Explorer. All right. And if you could give one encouraging thing to your fellow student athletes out there during this time, what would you say to them? I'll just say keep working. It's a, it's a hard time right now for sure. And the biggest thing is just to keep working, make sure you get everything done and grind it out because it's not going to last forever. All right. Thanks for joining us today, Davin. Thank you.